Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I've got the 2015 breakout on the lift and as you can see there's no fuel tank and exhaust pipes. This Black Friday I am going to order the 110 kit. It has new cylinders, heads, and uh, push rods and the complete cam chest. But before I order that I want to check to make sure my crank is true. I believe that Harley for this model, and I'm not a certified mechanic, has 10 thousandths run out clearance to where it becomes an issue. I want to see 5 thousandths or less. So I'm just going to show you, um, this is going to be a quick video, I'm not going to go every little torque value or anything, but I'm going to show you how I would check the crank case, or the crank of it to make sure that the run out is in line with what it should be. So let's get started. All right, congratulations. You've taken off the top rocker boxes and the rockers, and you've taken out the push rods. So now there is no more pressure on the valves at all. The springs are exposed. These uh, rocker or the push rod covers, push rod tubes, are empty. So we're not worried about those at the moment. So now we're going to focus on the cam chest. What we're going to do to help yourself is get a piece of cardboard and cut it. Slide it, stuff it in under this guy, kind of edge it downward. What this is going to do is get all of the oils, instead of having it run underneath the bike, it's going to force it into the pan that you're using. Just like so. So now, we're going to break these free and remove this cover.
Now one thing that I do is I keep these little magnets that I'll put inside the, the holes for the push rods and it keeps the lifters up while I pull all this out once I'm ready for that. I just slide that little right in there and it does what it needs to do. Now, in my case, I am replacing the whole cam chest, the plate, the cams, and the oil pump. I'm going with a fueling race series. So I am going to remove all the outer bolts, leaving the oil pump in place and just pulling the whole thing out because it's all not going to be reused for me. Now, this is very, very important, guys. While you're in here, even the 2015s have what's called INA bearings for the cams. What this means, is if I can get some light, if you can see down in there, those cam bearings have cages around them. And you can even see the inscription on the bearings themselves called INA, okay? These are prone to fail and they will destroy your engine in a matter of seconds. What you do is there are different bearings called Torrington bearings. And if you can see the difference, if you can see the difference, there are no cages in between these rollers. These rollers are called bearing needles. All right. So again, here's the Torrington. You can see there's the, the needles are right next to each other. And then the INA bearings, you can see there's a space. Those little spaces break and they come apart. And then they get inside of your crank, they make your, their way up through your cylinders and your heads and they just destroy everything in its path. You want to change those while you're in here. I don't care what you're doing in the cam chest, if you're in the cam chest, you change those bearings. Okay, YouTubes. So I have the dial indicator set up on the crank. What I did was I ended up using the plate to change the cam bearings out because this has a magnetic base. I have it positioned on the crank and I have it set for 10 thousandths so I know it's touching and then I move the dial indicator to zero. So I've got a good solid feel on the crank right now. There's some pressure against it. So I'm gonna try and get this to where Try and get this to where you can see the glare is pretty, pretty obnoxious at the moment. So right now we're at zero and this indicator is in point, point five thousandths. So there are 10 going to five thousandths. I want to be below five. That is where I want to be. Harley will have allowance to go up to 10, but I want to be below five. So let's see where I'm at. So I'm in sixth gear. The spark plugs are out and my bike is lifted up, so I'm going to rotate the tire. 0.5 thousandths, zero. Let's do another full rotation. Wow, this is great. So on a full rotation, I am at 0.5 thousandths of run out on this crank. So this is about as true as you're going to get from Harley. Actually, this is almost as good as getting it from anywhere. I'm, I'm extremely happy with this. 0. 0.5 thousandths is immaculate. So I have no concerns with this crank whatsoever, putting a 110 kit, some bigger cams, especially in a chain driven. I could put a gear driven cam in here and not have any worries at all, but I prefer the, the chain and just my personal preference. So this concludes the video on how to determine the crank run out on your Harley Davidson. So I hope this came somewhat beneficial for some of you guys or just to watch my video. So I appreciate it. As always, you have a great day. 
and uh, I think I'm going to make a video on how to change these cam gears or the cam bearings also. So stay tuned for that.